Hey YouTube, Bunny Films here, brand new video. Today I will be showing you or starting a series showcasing how to make a working cafe game. They can cook, put buns on, cheese, tomatoes, and lettuce. And you can even make other food items such as pizza dough or pizza. And I still have to add sauce to that. But I will be showing you how to make all of that and I'll be teaching you how to make a recycle bin. So stay tuned for the series. So first guys, start this off. You want to go to develop up here at the top of your screen next to the catalog and Robux and games. You want to make a new place and then press edit. Next, we'll wait for it to open. So will this place I just made so there's nothing pre-done, so I'll be teaching you how to make that whole entire cafe into here. First, you want to go into server storage, insert object, and insert a tool. Let's say we want to make a hamburger. So name this raw hamburger. Because this will be the name of the item when you pick it up from the burger stack. So, and then, inside of it, you want to insert object and then insert a script script and there it is now okay so you want to do race this local prev lo whoop. sorry guys local parts space equal space script dot parent colon get children and then semicolon nope that's it so now there sorry guys text space okay enter and you're gonna do for i space equal i space one comma space number number parts do the enter if no yeah if some or whatever and again parts bracket i bracket closed dot class name um then double equal then or is it thing would you get forgot <laughs> part close that uh, this or this is gonna be long so parts semi no bracket I bracket closed dot class name Space equal equal handle close and then close the bracket oh. or parts I close bracket dot class name name equals Wedge, nope. wedge, part, and then close, and then or parts. I don't class name. Name equals what what part and go back to here. This should be two. And I'm sorry, guys, that this is really long and I messed this up. So which part close or parts? Uh, nope. 
I <clears throat> my mic close do you see no so dot class name space equal equal quote seat close quote boom I'm just gonna copy and paste this guys just follow me as I do it cuz just save time Just like that. Nope. Oh man. Sorry guys. So just go like this or and then copy control V. And then you want to go to what you copied. And since it's a seat, you want to change that. Truss part. And then like that, control V again. You can erase those ends later, you don't need them. Or parts class name dot dot or equal equal space. Nope. Oh, <sighs> scripts. Yeah, right here. Hmm. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Okay. So, class name. Mm, trust part vehicle seat. Nope. So, change this to vehicle seat. And then change this nope. to un union operation and then scroll a little further down. This gets longer and then I'm just gonna take this or parts bracket i uh, close dot class name equal equal skateboard platform that that double double then and then you can erase this end and this end and sorry guys for making this so long. I'll be telling you what this is later when I finish this. So then local weld equal instance dot new well no weld nope. This should be weld E and then weld dot <coughs> part zero equal prev and weld dot part one equals <coughs> parts bracket I close then weld dot C zero equal Reef dot C frame dot inverse bracket bracket then weld dot C one parts I dot C frame no C frame inverse Almost done, guys. Well, dot parent equals prev, then parts by close bracket dot anchored equals nope, false, and then. 
and enter PREV equals parts bracket I bracket closed enter backspace wait hold on guys if, if. okay guys we forgot a line just press enter here if breathe and then the squiggly line which is right here equal nil close then and then you want to press enter no tab tab and have these out like this just makes it organized and tab tab and then you want to go to line 17 wait three close that's it guys so basically what the script does it just makes the weld for the thing like where you should hold it and like how it should be anchored and everything and how it works it's basically the physics of the hamburger and then you want to name this I'm gonna just name the script weld boom